time to wrap up week four in the PLL at one of the meccas in all of lacrosse. Tonight, two electric offenses go head to head in the Charm City as archers take on Atlas at Homewood Field. Okay, now let's shift our focus over to Atlas. They have no shortage of scorers as well, but the man in the cage, Jack and Cannon, elite. Yeah, there, there's two reasons why I think the Atlas are, are a championship contender. One is Trevor Baptiste, the other is Jack and Cannon, their goaltender. When you think about specialists, that may be the best one-two combo in the league. And last week on Long Island, he was a brick wall. So explosive, so focused. I mean, he put on a show in the first half, shutting down the whip snakes. Adam Gittleman is one of the leaders in the Archers locker room. Coach Chris Bates loves what he brings to the table in the cage from a leadership perspective. Here at Homewood tonight, had one goal on the opening possession. Archers looking to retaliate. That was Ambler. A nice ricochet by Kincannon. It was the second overall pick, so the future is bright. And Dana, what's up? Matt Moore, what'd you see on that rollback? They gave you a lane there. Just a lot of space. I think we worked on it before. We got to work on our spacing out there. And uh, Tom did a good job of drawing that pole and kind of just did my thing with, with a lot of space. So it's, it's pretty easy to do. And, we got a lot of veterans out here, so. I don't know if it's easy, but you've definitely gotten more comfortable. What do you attribute that to? It's the veterans. They give you confidence. Um, they're just great. It's a great team. Um, a lot of team building in these hotels, so it's just a great experience. Schreiber inside. Will Manny leads the league in goals. What a feed, but an even better save. My goodness, Jack and Cannon. Just like last week. I heard he had a great Team USA tryout as well over the recent weeks. That, that's point blank range. I mean, that is blink of an eye. Progressive game flow, left side of your screen, one touch inside, he's there. Rebound control. Teet's got one. Coach Rubior, he and the coaching staff took the blame for not getting the ball in his stick as much last week. Certainly showing that so right for season. Mm -hmm. That was an interesting pickup. I never would have guessed that DeSimone is having this kind of success. Paul Carcaterra, our peer, saw this coming, though. He said, DeSimone's great without the ball. If he's surrounded by really good people, he can be highly productive in this league. Paul was right. It's his fifth goal of the season so far. He also has four assists. And Dana, what's up? The skill component and his stick skills, his mobility. His ability to be a threat as an offensive player I have grown dramatically. He wants to win the game. He's going to shoot it in the low corner and do what the coach tells him. The psychology of shooters. Nice feed. Costabile can't connect. That's a superb save by Adam Gittleman. Oh, he took that one right in the chest. His fifth save tonight. Quickly in transition. That one's wide right. His goalies don't wear much. Helmet, chest protector, gloves, and a... Another pad under their shorts. Plenty of fans standing behind the cages. They're in the danger zone there, but looks like everyone's okay. Another save from Gittleman. Adam's hanging tough tonight. 10 seconds to shoot for Archers. That's much better by Kobe Smith. Zero cover and Triber on this possession. Now it's five to go. Nice defense, some contact. And it'll go the other way. Let's check out the progressive game flow on that shot. We watched Eric Law score. Concannon will have not, nothing of it. De Simone. A hop step with 10 to shoot. Nice feed. Ball loose. Concannon may have gotten a stick on that. But it's another empty possession for Archers. The second quarter woes continue. Second. Crawley up top. Winds up. Saved by Gittleman. Body save. They give Crawley his left. His seventh. How much more do those body saves hurt? That one didn't. That, that one doesn't hurt. You know, they, they hurt in if your muscle's not tight. Like, like if you punch me and then I'm, if I'm flexed, it doesn't hurt. But if my mm. arm is soft and I get hit, it's like very damaging to the muscle tissue. And, th and then when you get hit twice in a row or twice in the same practice or you have an existing bruise that gets blasted twice in one week 
that's when you got issues. I feel like I'm ER bound after one of those. Well, no, you, if you hit it with ice, like when I was doing my homework as a young goalie, like I was always having an ice pack on something, just 20 minutes, just to make sure that none of those bruises escalate into something uh, serious. 25 year old out of Denver, 2018. Inacio is a rookie out of Ohio State, a career 61% guy in college. He battled some injuries. He couldn't connect there. Get on the face off. Single face off on a hot night and not showing any signs of mental or physical fatigue. That shot's blocked by Gittleman. Rebound control critical there. Gittleman got a little help. That would have hurt. Rebounds are huge in this league. Dennis with five, four. That was a two, but wide. They're going to reset the shot clock. Got a piece. Big break for Romar. Crawley. Gittleman came out, put his head down. It's Dennis again. Gittleman was a really good high school football player. Cold Spring Harbor, North Shore, Long Island. He's 33 now. He's got to pick his spots. He's a scrapper. I love him. Yeah, Coach Bates said he loves the leadership he brings in the locker room. You always hear his voice when you're moving. You hear him. He's got that high voice. One side of the field to the other. Check! Check! <laughs> Who's got the back side? He's, 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 uh, he's almost a screechy soprano when he yells. That hurt my ears. We need a break. Go to Dana now. Let's let's give us a break up here. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about Gittleman. He's responsible for a lot of the scout. He watches a lot of film and breaks it down for some of the younger players. And I think when the younger players see a veteran like him doing that, it makes the team better and everybody else works hard around him. And they get a shot off. Oh, that was close. Gosh, that was violent too. That's as good of a look you'll get from no X whistle. We play left. on. Falls to the ground. Can Archers pull off a Hail Mary? No. And that's how this third quarter ends. Full back on off tackle, knowing that he's going to just get crunched by the linebacker. Leclerc pays the price. That's a tough one. De Simone now dives into the crease. Can Cannon denies. Initiate. Matt Moore initiate. Will Manny be the finisher? No lane there for Ambler. Now he's got it straight away. Huge save, Jack Concanon. Let's check out the progressive game flow on this save. Ambler's got good wheels, and he's fresh. Concanon, when he's at his best, he's making saves really, really late, and he's real patient, and he's not cheating. Right at the last second, Concanon's the type of guy who could move the head of the stick. It was a key initiation part of the Virginia offense where he was, I mean, he made a career out of drawing double teams. The dive, they've hit the crossbar. They have not scored since the third quarter. They didn't score in the second either. That was a contested shot, probably a low percentage one. Really good perimeter defense by the Atlas. We're about a week away from the All-Star break. A double team here. Look at Gettleman. Up top, Dennis feeds Custabile. Too strong. Shot clock off. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Gosh. It's going back to Archers. Up top, misses to the right. It was deflected. Remains with Archers. Now it's a game of keep away for eight seconds. As long as they don't turn it over, this one's over. A launch from one end to the other. Three, two, it'll go the other way. Hail Mary or bust here. Can they pull it off? No, that's your ball game. Atlas off to three and one. A defensive effort to close things out. 